check this part this 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 check this that's right party people let me see those hands up in the air Well, welcome to DJ Suketu Unplugged tonight. We're just getting started and it's going to be one hell of a party. That's right, talking on the mic. Every DJ should do it according to me. Not overdo it, just enough to get the crowd excited. That is all. Don't just go on and on and on and on and on and on. And people are saying, can I hear this? listen to the song please? I can't, you know, I'm sick of your voice. So every DJ should use the mic. Just enough to get the crowd excited, get them a little bit, you know, wondering that, what is he going to say next? Oh, wow, that was just awesome, man. I'm on the next level now. I really want to party with this DJ. So that's why. Well, in this episode, I'm going to teach you what you should do while using the mic. At least that's what I do when I use the mic. Certain things to keep in mind. So let's take a look at it. We have the song going on. The crowd is dancing. Everything is going fine. You feel you just, you know, want some more energy on the dance floor just to get you excited yourself? Oh, by the way, if I didn't mention it, there's a mic connection on the mixer over here. Remember, we taught you that, right? Get the mic in your hand and don't just blurt out something. Okay, we will. Not allowed. Just make sure that before you say anything on the microphone, you just compose what you want to say. There should be a subject. What do you want to do? That's right, I want to get the crowd excited a little bit. I want, I want them to scream a little bit. So just make sure you know what you have to say. Don't just, without thinking, just start blurting out things on the mic because that could really even kill the party. So I'm thinking, I know I want them to scream a little bit. Need to see some more energy on the dance floor. Just get in my mind, think a little bit. And this is what I would say. Well, that's right, people. I can see you guys grooving on the dance floor. We need to see some energy on the dance floor. Let me hear you guys screaming. Keep the mic and that's it. The crowd is going to dance. The crowd is going to scream and you're going to take them to the next level of party. It's always a good thing that when you're announcing on the mic, don't just keep the level of the music up, you know, because the music level and your voice and everything could probably become noise and clash. The people may not be able to hear what you're saying clearly. So reduce the music a little bit or maybe even turn it off just for a few seconds and bring it back up. That way they can listen to the music, they can listen to what you're saying and the announcement is nice and clean. Check this part, this, check this One very, very important announcement. This it happens at every party. It could be a nightclub, it could be a, a private party or wherever you're spinning. This is something that you have to announce and I don't know why. Somehow, every club that I'm playing at or every party that I'm playing at, somebody is celebrating a birthday. I mean, what the hell? Are, are my show dates and you know your birthdays coordinating together or something? Just kidding. Well, it's something very, very important. When you announce for a birthday or an anniversary or anything to a special person, it makes that person spend more, so the club earns more. If the club earns more, they call the DJ again and again saying their way. When Suketu came, more people came, more people spend money. So always make sure that if it's an important person and you need to wish that birthday, do it. But make sure you do it in such a way that you know the person doesn't feel, man, is this my birthday or am I going to die today? Make it nice and clean. Think of what you want to say. And most important, please remember what the name of the person is. Man, I have seen it before at parties and at clubs and I say, can you, uh, you know, wish uh, happy birthday to, uh, let's say, Pranav. And these guys go like, you know, and I like to wish Suketu a very happy birthday. No, 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 the birthday wishes from Suketu to Pranav, not, you know, the other way around. So make sure you have the names right. So let's say that, you know, I'm at a party and, you know, I want to wish... Uh, two girls a happy birthday or maybe somebody comes and tells me. So let's say Anusha comes and says, listen, wish Madhurima a very happy birthday and this is how we'll do it. We know what we have to announce. Switch on the mic, get it set. That's right, people. A very, very special night tonight and a very special day tonight. Very special day today. Ah. <laughs> well, this is an example of what happens if you don't prepare what you want to say. <laughs> That's right, people. Very, very special night tonight. 
We are wishing somebody a very, very happy birthday. That's right, Mother Ima, this one's specially going out to you. Dedicated to you and your friends tonight. With lots of love, Anusha. Madhurima is happy, Anusha is happy, they go and get a couple of shots and the tips come to you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, but that's the way you make an announcement. So make sure that when you make an announcement, it's clean, it's short, sweet and simple to the point and don't confuse yourself like I just did right now. <laughs>